Hi, my name is Jeanette Jobs and welcome to the studio. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing a new lamp from Outlight from their wellness series. This is the Cool Breeze LED fan lamp. And I will be putting it through its paces and showing you the different levels of light that can be utilized. And uh, no matter what your needs are for lighting, I think this one's gonna fit the bill. Also, Outlight's been kind enough to supply um, another lamp to one lucky person, so I will have the details of how to enter your name to win one of these lamps in the show notes below. So stay tuned and uh, let's get started. This lamp uh, is easy to use straight out of the box. There's just a small connection port on the back which you attach your power source to, plug it into the wall and it is good to go. It's got a compact design, so it's tall and slim, um, with a very flexible gooseneck. This lamp is easy to use straight out of the box. The only thing that needs to be connected is its power source, so it has a little port in the back. You just connect the power cord, plug it into the wall, and it's good to go. The unit has a pretty small um, footprint, so it doesn't take up a lot of space on uh, a work surface which is useful because we all seem to need as much space as we can possibly get to, especially if we're creating. So the, um, the front face of uh, the lamp itself is flat. There are no buttons to press, no rocker switches. Everything is touch sensitive, which makes it really easy when you're trying to do other things at the same time and you don't want or don't have the manipula manipulation ability to press switches and click buttons. So having that touch source is very useful. Now let's go a bit closer to look at the light source itself. As you can see, again, it's a front flat panel. To turn the light on or off, it's simply touching the center on off switch. Touch it again to start it. Light intensities by using the up or down arrows will provide you with the intensity of light. This is its brightest setting right now. I can go down to its lowest. There are five different settings. And um, depending on if you're using additional lighting or you want to adjust it, uh, this will provide you with everything that you need. So let's go back up to the medium level. And what I'm going to do now is demonstrate the M button. This will change the color temperatures of the light. So if I press it once, this gives a cool, or a, sorry, a, gives a warm light. So a kind of yellowish cast, almost like an incandescent light. Touch it again and I get, uh, get natural daylight. So that would be the source that I would class it, this as and probably one of the most commonly used settings. I touch it once more, I get a, a cool bluish tinged light. Uh, which um, is also very useful, again, depending on what the environment you're working in and what source, uh, other sources of light there are and what you're actually working on. So these are very beneficial. Let's turn that light down a little bit more and I'm going to show you the lamp or the fan feature. As you can see internal, very much internal piece no moving parts to distract or get caught on anything. The lamp or the, oh, the fan setting on the right hand side, touch again, touch one finger. It turns on. There is some ambient noise, of course, as there are with all fans. And a light uh, comes on, a blue light within the fan uh, operations to show you that it's on. And the light intensity will indicate the setting that the fan is on. There are three settings for it. So it's on its highest. If I touch the button once more, the light reduces and the airflow reduces. Once more, it's at its lowest setting. Again, blue light is reduced again, as well as the airflow. It's not intrusive and uh, it has the ability to just provide cooling air or air movement within the environment that you're working in.